welcome back to BT. The world online can be a dangerous place for your kids, but there is help, and that's where Do You Know What Your Kids Know comes in. It's an organization that helps parents understand some of the dangers. Here with her tips for parents is program director of Do You Know What Your Kids Know, Don Windsor. Uh, Don, let's get right into it as quickly as we can. Uh, five tips for moms and dads, and the very first one is setting ground rules. Absolutely. What kind of ground rules should I set for my little ones? Well, number one, you always want to have timelines. You don't want our, our children have a lot of on screen time, right. um, upwards of five to six hours a day. So if we can set limits, say perhaps uh, not before 8 a.m., mm -hmm. maybe not after 8 p.m., aside, for, uh, allow for some family time, and that would be a really good place to start. You've got a ground rule in your family with your daughter on Twitter we were just talking about. Absolutely. What's, the, what's the ground rule on followers? Oh, if our children have social media, they absolutely must share their logins and passwords with us. Oh. Absolutely. Every time? Every time. Okay, good rule. Okay, have a frank family discussion is right. number four. What kind of things should we talk, be talking about? Well, absolutely privacy. We need to teach our children what is private. We need to have them understand that their phone numbers, their uh, mailing address, or their home address, where they go to school, all needs to be kept private. Okay. And an important conversation to have, but can be a tricky one. Next up, installing tracking apps. This is a controversial one. It is. Why are you in favor of putting tracking apps? Well, our daughter uh, likes to refer to it as the stalking apps. And you know what? I'm sorry. Some people might think that that's what it is, but it's very important. Our children have the world in their hands, in the palms of their hands. And if I can allow my daughter to carry a device to school, mm -hmm. I need to know where she is. She's a minor, she's a child, and I pay for that device too. So our rules are our rules, and having a, a mobile app is, is certainly very helpful to help us track where they are. Okay, and next up, uh, keep up to speed, which might be the most difficult things for moms and dads. How do we keep up to speed with the quickly changing world online? It's very overwhelming. Um, there's so many different things that we need to keep in mind. Um, First of all, let your kids show you what they know. Sit down, have a conversation with your kids, mm -hmm. and find out what their favorite things to do are and start with that so it's not so overwhelming. Find out what they're doing online first Absolutely. and we move from there. Okay, last but not least, respond, don't react. Tell me the difference between those two things. Um, you always want to, if your children come to you with an issue, uh, if they've been approached online, if they've been cyberbullied, you don't want to overreact. If you overreact, you will scare them into coming to you in the future, You'll be right? Afraid yeah, to come back absolutely. To you next time. Right, right. So you want to respond. You want to get the facts. Okay. Don't have a knee-jerk reaction and delete any information. You could be you could be deleting criminal evidence if it's required in the future. Right. Take screenshots if you can, and first and foremost, remind your children that it's not their fault. Ninety-nine percent of the time, they've been approached, they've been attacked, yep. and we need to find out and get to the bottom of things. Let me t ask about your organization. Uh, do you know what your kids know? How do you help moms and dads? What do you guys offer? Public presentations, absolutely. Uh, there's three core topics that we talk about. Uh, we do online uh, communication, so mm -hmm. we talk about texting and emailing, some etiquette and protocol there. We do cyberbullying presentations, and we also do presentations about online strangers and online predators. There's, there is, it can be terrifying for moms and dads, and we don't want to scare anybody, but if you do need resources, you do need information, you'll find all the links and all the info at breakfasttelevision.ca. Let's check on weather conditions now. Let's say good morning to Jenna Khan.